We have all watched Mr. Bean before. His goofy nature and jokes are known to be able to sit a family down of three generations in front of a screen to have a good laugh. Why is he so funny? It is because he is able to find laughs out of everyday life. Of simple everyday tasks, we seem to overlook more things than we realise. In Mr. Bean, we commonly see a very simple rule. A situation is set and we develop an expectation. And soon after is the revelation. This is what creates the gap. The expectation and the unseen result. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the greatest filmmakers of all time, Jack Tati. Jack Tati, in his 75 years of life, was a scriptwriter, filmmaker, producer and actor. Of his whole filmmaking career, he has only made 6 feature length films and has left behind a legacy of silent comedy. Having started with mimes at age 23 as his first artistic career, his style of comedy stuck throughout his films and have inspired modern films such as Mr. Bean. We first start off with what we mentioned earlier, the unseen gag. This is when we take something mundane from our everyday life and put a twist on it. When we don't expect it, it is then funny. Instead of telling a joke, it is shown to us. It uses all possible means of producing a gag, unlike film nowadays, which mostly are just a bunch of people delivering lines. Tati also likes to bring back jokes revisiting them. However, he does not hide it. Instead, when we see the gag again, it's all about the feeling of remembering the joke again in the midst of the chaos. As Michelle Sean said, sound doesn't transmit the heaviness of a creaking door. The roughness of grating metal or the suppleness of a shoe. Tati never makes us feel the fullness and consistency of metal. The use of sound in Tati's works are obvious and they stand out. There is no perspective or direction in the sounds from the source. The sounds are synchronized with the visuals and placed in the shots where they appear at. The point is, they are used to enhance the gag. There is also a distinct lack of dialogue in his work. He thought that dialogues were not needed for the story to be brought across, as Hitchcock also said. You can watch the films without the dialogues and you will still understand the story. The use of dialogues in his film were mostly just to add to the atmosphere of the scene. The dialogues in the films make little to no sense and does not contribute to the story. How do you say drugstore in French? In his work, we can commonly see his style of using long shots. In other films, we usually have a cutaway shot which shows the expression of the character. But in Tati's films, we can see the action and the reaction within the same shot. With the use of these shots, the sense of voyeurism can be noticed throughout the films. However, I feel like the use of long shots is to be able to see the whole action in the frame. This allows the joke to occur in real time with little to no cuts, and we can see the whole gag unfold in one take. With the use of such shot sizes, I feel that it only adds on to the depth of the gags in the film. Let's take a look at the royal garden scene in playtime. In this sequence, many things are happening at once and it is very chaotic. However, we are still able to watch it smoothly and everything flows. Why is that so? That is because in every shot, we are following one character and then we move on to the next character. This allows Tati to show the chaos of the whole scene but still be able to follow the story. The first time I watched his films, I felt a certain beat and tempo. However, they were not consistent and I was unable to just grasp what is it with all these rhythms. According to Sean, everything Absolutely everything is made to stand out and follow a temporary rhythm. Every element starts and is interrupted. 
gets translated into a long and short notation, much like the tapping of the Morse code. The Jack Tati is an inspiration for many filmmakers, showing passion to his work. His dedication to his originality and style, his perfection to his craft, and his resilience through the decades. Producing six features from 1946, he takes years for every film he produces, making sure to perfect everything, even to the point of reshooting a whole scene because of someone's underwear continuity.